I'm John Law, this is Chasing Cars, and today we're talking about the next chapter in Mazda's premium push, the CX-60 midsize SUV. Now, you might be wondering why I'm standing in front of a Mazda 3. Well, it's because that was kind of the start of Mazda's premium push that was followed up by the CX-30. Now, if you want to see our review of that car against a whole load of premium competitors where it actually did really well, you can click in the top corner of this video. But today's video is really about the CX-60, which has been teased by Mazda, showing just a little bit of the headlight and the signature tear duct that joins the grille into the new headlight. So what exactly is the CX-60? Well, as you saw in Poncha's news video a little while ago, we found out that this thing is going to be a premium midsize SUV, a competitor for the likes of the new Lexus NX, BMW X3, Audi Q5, and Mercedes GLC. Now, that's a really big deal. And the thing that was really holding back the CX-30 in terms of competing in a premium space was the engine. Now, the CX-60 looks to address that. So in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what we know, the new plug-in hybrid that's coming to the CX-60 and perhaps the potential of a straight six turbocharged engine. And of course, if you have any input on the CX-60, let me know in the comment section down below. Maya down there leaving a comment. We'd also love it if you could hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. So first up, let's talk a little bit about what the CX-60 is gonna look like. Now this very small, blurry and out of focus teaser image pretty much confirms the fact that the CX-60 is gonna look exactly the same as the undisguised prototypes we saw out on a film shoot in 2021. Now for me, that's a really good thing. It's got clear Mazda DNA, the proportions are really handsome and you're gonna be able to get it with cladding that is either black or body color. The CX-60 is going to be sold alongside the existing Mazda SUV product lineup here in Australia. So that means the CX-60 will sit above the CX-5 in the range, but also more premiumly pitched than the CX-8, although it will be smaller. That said, there is a CX-80 SUV coming along very shortly as well that will share the same large product group architecture and presumably the option of a plug-in hybrid powertrain, which I'm gonna talk about right now. Now, on the subject of powertrains, Mazda has confirmed the fact that the new CX-60 will feature an all-new plug-in hybrid powertrain. Now, that means it's going to have a 2.5-litre turbocharged petrol engine hooked up with a set of electric motors and a smallish lithium-ion battery. Now, most of the specifications are so far unconfirmed. However, Mazda has said that this drivetrain will offer in excess of 223 kilowatts, which is a fair bit better than the 170 kilowatts what's currently offered by the 2.5 litre petrol engine and will also mean that this car has a direct rival for the Lexus NX 450h plus that's about to arrive and also existing plug-in hybrids such as the BMW X3 30e plug-in hybrid. Now it's not only plug-in hybrids slated for the CX-60 SUV because Mazda is developing inline six engines. That's right in 2022 we're going to have a new set of inline six engines and that's something I reckon you should be excited about, even if it is in an SUV, because hopefully it will make its way to a Mazda 6 sized competitor in the future with rear wheel drive. But of course, let me know in the comments section down below if you're excited for that. Now let's talk about the next little generation of Mazda Premium, which will be coming along very soon, as soon as March the 8th, when the CX-60 will be officially unveiled to the world and then will hopefully follow with an Australian release date shortly after that. Now the CX-60 isn't the only new SUV that Mazda's launching. Of course, they launched the CX-50. We've got a little news video on that. That's for North America only. But the CX-80 large SUV will be a three row vehicle based on the same large product group architecture as the CX-60. Now there's also other vehicles, the CX-70 and the CX-90, which are currently sort of targeting North America. However, as Australia is one of a handful of markets to receive both the CX-8 and the CX-9 three row large SUV, SUVs, there is absolutely the potential that the CX-70 and the CX-90 could come to Australia alongside the CX-60 and the CX-80. So if you'd love to see that, let me know in the comments section below. You'd love to see Mazda's range grow. And also let me know if you think that these new CX-60, 70, 80 and 90 vehicles are going to be a true competitor for the established German and Japanese marks right down below. And if you haven't done so already, we'd also love it if you could hit subscribe and the bell icon. And as always, thank you for watching chasing cars.